Some people with breathing problems need to inhale medicine into their lungs. Inhaled medicines can be delivered in a variety of ways. One way is via a device called a nebulizer. Nebulizers come in different shapes and sizes, but all have the same basic parts. These include a compressor, a nebulizer cup, also known as a medication cup, which holds the medicine, a tube that connects to the compressor and the medication cup, and a mask or mouthpiece that you'll use to breathe in the medicine. Many nebulizers have a small piece called a T-piece, which fits into the mouthpiece, and another tube called a reservoir tube. If you need to give yourself a home nebulizer treatment, you should start by making sure you have everything you need gathered in one spot. Treatments usually last about 10 minutes. Pick a place where you can sit comfortably without being interrupted. Place your nebulizer on a hard, level surface, such as a table or countertop. If your nebulizer has a power cord, plug it in. Wash your hands with warm water and soap. Then dry them on a clean towel. Attach one end of the breathing tube to the compressor and the other end to the medication cup. Now get ready to add the medicine. Most medicines come ready to use. They're in a single-use container with the exact amount of medicine you'll need for your medication cup. Never use more or less medicine than you're prescribed. To use this medicine, twist off the top and pour it into the medication cup. Attach the tea piece to the top of the lid. Attach the mouthpiece to one end of the tea piece. Attach the reservoir tube to the other end. If you use a mask, attach it to the lid of the medication cup, just like the mouthpiece. Now, turn on the compressor to start the treatment. Make sure the device is creating a steady mist. If not, double check to make sure the tubing is attached properly. With the mouthpiece between your teeth and on top of your tongue, breathe through your mouth evenly and deeply throughout the entire treatment. Your doctor may tell you to hold your breath for a moment in between breaths so the medicine gets deeper into your lungs. Sit upright. Hold the medicine cup level throughout the breathing treatment. If you need to cough or rest any time during the treatment, turn the compressor off so you won't <coughs> waste your medicine. The treatment is over when the medicine is gone from the cup or when no more mist comes out. You may hear a sputtering sound when the medication is gone. If you hear a sputtering sound, tap the nebulizer gently to get the droplets of medicine to fall to the bottom of the cup. When the treatment is finished, turn off the compressor. You should clean your nebulizer after each breathing treatment. Don't put any of the parts in the dishwasher. Wash them by hand instead. Take the nebulizer to a sink. Lay out a paper towel for the washed parts to dry on. Remove the mouthpiece, the tea piece, and the reservoir tube, and rinse them with warm water. Set them aside to dry. Remove and rinse the nebulizer cup. Reattach the cup to the nebulizer tube and run the compressor for a few seconds to remove any leftover medicine. Then rinse the cup again. Shake off any excess water and set it aside to dry. Disconnect the tubing from the compressor and set it aside to dry. You don't need to wash the tubing. If your medicine contains a steroid, you should rinse your mouth with water after each treatment to avoid possible infection. Your doctor or pharmacist will let you know if your medicine contains a steroid. Wash your hands when you're through. We hope this video helps you get the most out of your nebulizer treatment. If you use it regularly, you'll be able to breathe easier.